in our area is not hurricanes or tornadoes or earthquakes. It is Lyme disease. It is the one plague that might be severe enough that communities might want to engineer a wild organism in order to get rid of it, or at least reduce the level of Lyme. Last October, deep in the island's brush, we found MIT associate professor Kevin Esfeldt, a pioneer in genetic engineering, waving a white flag in search of ticks. So we just grab it. We can These tiny it. vectors of Lyme disease were not hard to find. And we just pop it in. These are the big ones yeah. because these are largely adults. If the adults are this small, imagine the tiny, tiny, what are they called, nymphs? Nymphs, yeah. We often think of poppy seed sized. Esfeldt's collaborator is Sam Telford, an epidemiologist at Tufts University who's been studying ticks on Nantucket for the last 40 years. There's a 50% chance, maybe more, that this is actually carrying Lyme disease. But you're not afraid because it has to be It has to be attached, attached. For, for more than 24 hours. Right, to, to infect you. That's correct. These guys will swell up yeah. 50 to 100 times that size with blood. You know, it becomes mm -hmm. that, that and, big. And that's how you know when they're engorged, you know that they've been feeding on you. If you see it that big, then you're in trouble.